I was super proud of the boys. I mean, uh, it was a hard-fought battle. Um, uh, we were not in our normal rhythm that I think we've been in the last two games. Um, but that is what a break sometimes does. It just um, breaks your continuity a bit. But I mean, tonight for me, it, it, it's, it's all about character. I mean, the boys showed a lot of character and a lot of belief, a lot of spirit to, to keep on fighting towards the end. And uh, yeah, for me, it's that special. I mean, it's 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 not it's not always talent that wins you games. It's it's, it's more about the character, the, the the guys that play in the team, and uh, the spirit, um, and and the guts, and the willingness, and the belief that they have to to carry you over. And I think that is that that is for me very special um, in terms of this win. Jonathan, any word on Oxford Bakker? Ten minutes, the last minute, the veteran, and performed the ranks. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm really glad for, for the way that Alson Bok bounced back. I mean, obviously we were a bit worried with the last-minute changes that we had. We almost lost also Banda at the last training. He had to pass a fitness test this morning to get into the game. So we were a bit, um, we were a bit worried. But um, Alson, I mean, he was unlucky um, just to lose his place to Yao Penke when he, when he actually played well. And um, I uh, and he wanted to uh, to take this opportunity, and I think he just bounced back excellently. I'm very very happy for him um, for, for all the the hard work that he's put in over the years, and and, and getting the accolades in such a special win tonight. Were there any ever doubts in your mind when the game was up against with ten minutes left that the team would break the psychological barrier? I always believed, I honestly believed towards the end that, that we could win it. I mean, I've, I've sent on the message um, when we've conceded that penalty is just to, or to try, just that we need just to stick to our plan, try to kick off, put them under pressure, try to win the ball back, play in their half, because then for almost 80% of the second half, we were tremendously under pressure playing rugby in our own half. And um, we conceded penalties and, and it's just that they just kept on coming back with penalties, uh, um, getting back into the game, so obviously that's still a so that's still a big work on for us just to to to, to improve in terms of our discipline, having those soft moments because that keeps teams into in the game. Um, but yeah, I believed. I mean, if we if we're going to have the opportunity to 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 get the ball back in the half, we 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 will win the game, and that's ex that's exactly what happened. I also, there was also one or two tries. Unlucky one on the goal line that we've lost, and the other one maybe we we've maybe Lionel have seen uh, the the outside option we might have scored under the post with Matimpi. So uh, that that's part of the game, uh, one for them, one for us. There was enough opportunities where we could have um, exceeded in terms of the score, but uh, I think it was worthwhile to win it like this. I mean, that's also given a different perspective for the players in terms of what they what they can do, not. By winning or run away in games, but coming from behind and, and, and guts one out in, uh, against a very good side. Um, I think, I think, I think more so our own our own kicking game put us a bit more under pressure. I think they put a lot of pressure on us. Uh, that I think we we didn't really exit as well as we should. I don't think it was a polished performance in terms of that area of the of game management. But um, yeah, I think it was more so the pressure that they put on us that allowed them, you know. Bit more territory. Lionel, can you give us a flavour of what the group is like in the, in the dressing room after they play? <laughs> no, yeah, the guys are super stoked. Like, um, you know, like this is just this has just been a phenomenal day. And it's just nice that it's it's in favour of the Kings today. I think that's the most important thing is that the guys have fought so hard for this victory to get over this 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 hurdle of, of beating a South African side, and we had two wins in a row, which was history. Now we're beating a South African side, and. That's just really credit to the guys, and they're really happy about that. Well, we're on the crowd. There were 22,000 people here tonight. The Mexican way, big atmosphere. Did they help you get over the line? Were they the, 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 the extra man energy? Absolutely. I mean, home, advan home ground advantage it should never be underestimated. I think we've seen it in, in, in a numerous of sporting events all around the world. Um, it's just awesome to have the support that we had tonight. And for us, you know, it was... It really was a clinical performance in that last five minutes to get over, and that was credit to the support that we had. I, mean, I don't, I don't think we should deny that. But it was awesome to come out and play in such a stadium. It's, it's an awesome stadium. You can just feel the buzz on the field. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. What do you think this will do to the team going forward now? For your next match coming up on Saturday, the same venue, another big crowd, another win. 
Absolutely. I think we've got, to, we've got to really put teams under pressure at home with the support that we've got. It's definitely something we've got to keep on doing. I think we just got to keep focused now and stay humble and keep our feet on the ground and keep having the fun that we've had and keep playing positive rugby. I think once again tonight we've had a really exciting brand of rugby and really kept the ball well. John, in your long coaching career, this must be one of your most special moments. Oh, definitely. A very special moment. Um, yeah, very, very special moment. Did you take the, the last three games? What did you tell the guys when you had your first chance to check them after the game? I could just say thank you for, for, for the win. Uh, still a lot of stuff that I maybe would like to say, but that's enough for now. John, uh, Robert Kuhner said that he was surprised by the team uh, showing the scrum. Is that how, how do you feel about that? I think people thought we were, we were going to be un, under pressure in the scrums. Um, I mean, on reputation, they've got very good players in the pack of forwards. But uh, I honestly believe um, in terms of what what our players could bring um, got got huge huge respect for 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 our front row and 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 for the technical abilities of those guys and and we've really um, when we went on tour coming back we we worked on a couple of things that that we felt um, might 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 uh, put 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 a team under pressure and uh, you could see um, tonight that the guys really really applied that and yeah we were we were lucky that um, that it worked out for us.